don't know what it is. It feels like weirdly heavy. Oh, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. Oh. Oh, I woke him up. <laughs> If it weren't for these guys out here that were able to help me on those rocks, yeah, I would have probably still been down there trying to pull it off. But you know, we need to stick together. We need to help each other, right? We're here to catch big fish. We need to build camaraderie around each other, right? Not competition. What is going on over here? We are at the Surfside Jetty. We're sat here. We're not here to fly cameras. We're here to fly big baits. The jack run is over, the water is really filthy, it's back to normal, back to business. You see that chocolate milk? We're back to normal, Galveston waters. We enjoyed it while it lasted, but now what we're here to do, we're here to catch dinner for a few days. We're gonna be playing out big baits, chunky baits, right into the middle of the channel. Look how much current is going through there right now. Look at that, the tide is coming in. That means that the big fish are moving in also. We've seen dolphins hang out at the tip. We see that as a good sign. That means that they're feeding, actively feeding off stuff. A lot of people don't like to fish with dolphins. They say that it scares the fish away, but I think opposite wise. Let me show you the gear that I'm gonna use right now. This is a Makara 10 right here on a uh, 10 foot uh, Steadfast Heavy. We got the new Akuma Flight 12,000. This is actually, we're testing it out. We bet to catch anything on it. And we got, uh, just in case we see some surface action or we wanna throw some spoons out, we got the Akuma Solar Surf, the nine foot. And we got the Salinas right here. The 8,000, we got Alice's combo that she uses right here. She's a big baller right here. She likes nice things. She has the ballistic tournament, the ballistic reel. And we actually started already. And on the end over there, we got the uh, Okuma Tesoro 12S on a 10 foot steadfast. And we're here to catch. We're here to catch. I'm feeling good. So we're, we're gonna try to do today, we got a clear leader here. What's well, not really here, it's blue that I got. I bought at Hard Life Tackle. And I wanna see if the color makes a big difference. We've been using black leaders for a while, but I'm wondering if that scares the fish away. So we're gonna try this blue clear leader out here in dirty brown water. They, they ain't gonna see this, especially this dirty ass water. What we're gonna do is, I got some frozen bait. I'm probably gonna cut this croaker. And I'm gonna use this. Hopefully I can get a, something on it, who knows. It's been sitting in the freezer for like a year, I think. It doesn't, it doesn't look bad at all, actually. Anything but a cutting board. Exactly. I got everything. I got high tech stuff. I got underwater cameras. I got drones. And, but I don't have a cutting board. <laughs> we got a frozen croaker. It'll stay on. I mean, this. I don't know what brand of hook this is. It has a small gap here, so I don't think it's going to come off. You see how it looks different? It's like more symmetrical. Rectangular-ish with angles, not circular. I think this is a sandbar tackle hook. What's up? All right, so what I'm gonna do now, check it out. I caught a jack not too long ago. I took the tailpiece off, I'm gonna fly this out. This is a small piece of jack. Uh, I mean, you know, hopefully catching something decent out here. If we catch like a black tip, like a six foot, five foot range, or four or five, six foot, we're gonna take it home, we're gonna eat it. But this right, this bait here should be perfect for a nice shark right here. It's a big jack. Oh, check it out, y'all, this big old jack. This is a big jack. Oh, I can, I can barely hold it up. Check it out, y'all, huge jack. 
This has to weigh over 40 pounds. This thing is massive. It's like a torpedo. I was using my Komodo and the musky stick, the psycho stick. Luckily I had that on or else I might have been able to land it because man, this is a huge jack. I stitched the drag all the way out and it was still diving down. It went into the rocks and I almost lost it. But luckily, check it out y'all, huge jack. All right guys, this is what we ended up with. Mine's that top one right there. Look at these huge jacks. Look at that, this one's a piece right here. Check it out. Open. Close. Perfect. Splash Drone 4, check it out. This can fly five pounds. We're about to fly out a total of two pounds right now. Now, the other thing that's important is you gotta make sure that you don't overspool yourself. This is a lever drag, so I have it on the one and a half setting. We're gonna fly it straight out. We don't have to worry about bursting this there. You see? You don't gotta worry about it at all. So we're gonna fly this halfway into the channel. And hopefully we don't get cut off by a boat. I doubt it. I mean, that way that occurred, I maybe mean, I should go a little bit more to the left, actually. Just like that. There we go. That's far, that's real far. Let's drop it. Return home. Nice cast. Got that cast out there despite the wind. Hey, that right there. Hopefully she don't catch a gap time and that wind is picking up even more. I saw all these giant swells. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you good? So what she's doing here is she's reeling in the slack because the current is coming in so strong. Right through the channel like that. So she's reeling in the slack. You see how she's reeling in? We don't have a lot of line tangled up on the rocks. That's what she's doing there. She loves to do this right here. I think this is her favorite type of fishing is popping cord, the shrimp. Easy stuff, anybody can do that. It's su super fun. You got any hits yet? Yep, there we go. Ugh. I don't know what it is. It feels like weirdly hit. <sighs> oh, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. Dead weight. Well, that's fine. <laughs> oh. He's very close.
You don't want to come up? Oh. Come on. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. what is it? There's a red shark. Ugh. 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 Cabrón, hombre, no puedes o quieres salir. Ahí está. Quieres salir de acá para arriba. I'm trying to get it up, I can't get it. <laughs> eh? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. Oh my god! 
Oh my god. Blue shark. ¿Eh? A ver, a ver. Si, a ver, yo lo agarro. Man, this is sketchy. I'll get it right now. At least it's still underwater. Está grande. ¿Cómo está trabado ahí? A ver, cuidado, ya atrás de ti. Uh. Está bien grande por eso. Está con los dos ahí. Oh. Hijo de su. A ver, espérame. Aquí está la de la cola. Okay. Dale la puerta allá, yo te la trago. Okay. Dale. Go, go. Gracias. Whew. That's a big bull shark. Huh? Eh? Huh? Yeah, we're gonna well, we're gonna at least gut it and bleed it. All right, so I just barely landed this big bull shark here off the jetty. You know, honestly, I w I've been wanting to eat shark for a bit. So this is a shark that came up. This shark was really hard to get up. It got it, it like it's big, and when you're fighting these big bull sharks over the in the jetty. I mean, it's really hard. It's really hard to get it up. And this is a big shark and it's really deep out here. You're basically fighting it up at an angle. And then we got close to the rocks. We got stuck there for a bit, but we got it out. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna harvest it. We're gonna get home and eat it. See if we put it on the grill or something. And honestly, it was, if it weren't for those guys, I don't know, I'd still be out here. I don't know that I would've been able to get it out, but it was hard. This is a, this is a, this is a nice bull shark right here. Whew.
All right, so this wasn't exactly the shark that I was looking for. I was looking for small size black tips from like four to six feet, edible ones, and that's why I use a smaller piece of bait, but this nice bull shark came here and took it. It's a hell of a fight. It's definitely the hardest fight that I've experienced at the jetty. You know, up here it's hard. You know, it's like 50 feet deep in there and this thing is heavy, it's dead weight. And then it started really fighting hard once it got close to the rocks. So it took me 15 minutes to get it in on the rocks and uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep it. We bled it out, we're gonna gut it real quick. And uh, like that we can uh, take it home and cut it into chunks. We're gonna put it in milk so we get rid of all that ammonia and then we're gonna put it on the grill. What was that sound? Oh no, no wait. All right. I'm too tired right now to catch fish. Right, so it took us forever to get that big fish out. This is the hardest fish that I've ever caught at the jetty. Definitely the biggest work that I've had out here. I've caught big fish out here. The biggest fish I've caught out here was five feet, black tip. But now the bull shark takes the cake. But I do want to mention is that what is really important is that we stick together as anglers, okay? If they weren't for these guys out here that were able to help me on those rocks to get that shark out, I, unfortunately, yeah, I would have probably still been down there trying to pull it off. But, you know, we need to stick together. We need to help each other, right? We're here to catch big fish. And this is, we need to build camaraderie around each other, right? Not competition. All right, we're not here to see who catches the biggest fish. It's all about community. We're fishing here. We help each other out, all right? It's not a competition when you're out at the jetty. This is the jetty. It's a public jetty. It's not a, it's not a tournament, all right? So we're here to have fun. You know, we leave that stuff at home, all right? We come here to catch fish and help each other. And I really want, I want to thank these guys to help me out. It's crazy. I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I really wouldn't have done it without them.